I was particularly fascinated by the fact that there are three women in this period, each one of whom makes a different choice depending upon her desires and her ambitions. Edith Roosevelt, more looking back to the past than the present or the future, had come from a disordered family background and a crumbling internal situation, and all she wanted was a family, security, and a home. And she found that with Theodore Roosevelt. She gave him a sanctuary for the rest of his life. Nellie Taft, growing up more unconventionally, wanting ambitions and some sort of exercise of her talent on her own, married Will Taft because, in part, he was so respectful of her independent ambitions, she knew she could find her expansive life through him. And indeed, she spurred him on to become president and become a politician in ways he probably never would have. And then you've got Ida Tarbell, who grows up watching the frustrations of her mother, who had been a teacher, wanted to continue her own desires, but got caught in having to take care of the family during a tough economic time. She vows when she's 14 years old, I pray I will never get married so that I can exercise my talents. And she becomes the most famous journalist of her era. And what's so great to realize about our time versus then is women can make these choices in tandem. You don't have to choose one or the other. It still may be complicated, but at least there's that possibility of combining work and family today in a way that it was much harder back then.